This is chapter 4.1 simulation, how to random sample and random assign using a random number table. Random sampling is using a chance process to determine which members of a population are used in a sample. We can do this through taking a simple random sample or an SRS in which we make sure that every group of n individuals in the population has an equal chance to be selected as the sample. On the other hand, random assignment uses a chance process to assign experimental units to treatments. This is how to use Table D. Give each one in the population or experimental group a number. They must all be the same number of digits and must all be unique. Determine the sample size that you want and assign only that number of labels. Read consecutive digits off of Table D going across a row. Ignore any digits that you didn't assign to someone and ignore repeats. Stop when you've selected n number of labels. Finally, connect numbers with the assigned individuals or things in your, exper in your experimental group. Finally, connect numbers with the assigned individuals or things, which you can see in this diagram at the bottom of the page. This is how to do a stratified random sample. First, classify your population into groups of similar individuals or strata. Then, do a separate SRS for each strata and combine them all for your whole sample. This is a good technique to use if you have clear categories within your population or want to test the effects of a treatment while minimizing bias from the initial conditions. So how do we select a random sample using a TI-84 plus instead of a number table? So the first thing you do is you press math and then you go to probability, then you go to random integer, which is five. Fill in the parameters. The first is the minimum value. Let's take an example of one and the Second is the maximum value assigned to your population or experimental group. Let's do 40 as an example. We'll avoid using n because repeated numbers often occur. You press enter, and that's your first random number. Repeat this process for the number of distinct numbers that you want. Here are some common mistakes to watch out for when answering these types of problems. When using a table D to random assign, start with 00, 0 as your first value, not 0, 01. In addition, watch out for repeats. With large sample sizes, it might get difficult to remember all the numbers previously selected from the top of your head, so keep a neat list of the numbers and check it frequently when sampling. Also check for digit size. Check to see if you have one digit, zero, two digit, zero, zero, or three digit, zero, zero, zero. And most importantly, know the best method for the type of problem for the best experiment. Try to see if you need a simple random sample, stratified random sample, or cluster sample so that you can have the best experiment with the least amount of bias. Here is some example FRQ problems that you can use to practice on. When doing these AP exam problems, be sure to include the context of the problem. Also, you must connect the randomly selected numbers to selecting your sample or assigning your treatments. Know what the question is asking for and read the instructions carefully. Sometimes there is a specific method that you must use. When using the calculator or hat method, label the numbers of the population or experimental group from 1 to n. In the table D method, be sure to label starting with 00 rather than 01. Also, remember that the hat method is often unrealistic when using populations that are extremely large.